main water source for many across the desert amazing. southwest and below the border. April Hedinger tells us why that water source is dwindling in an exclusive report. And lingering concern for the Delta variant, with the CDC reporting the deadly strain now accounts for more than half of cases across the nation. Plus, as that variant continues to spread, we speak with local officials about if we could be headed in the opposite direction and if we'll have to once again mask up. 13 on your side. Thank you for choosing to be with us tonight. I'm Scott Gross. Hiding in plain sight, U.S. citizens are caught trying to smuggle drugs back to the states from Mexico. However, Border Patrol agents say drug trafficking is lower than usual for this time of year when it comes to cocaine and marijuana. Yuma sector agents say they believe it's due to the large number of undocumented immigrants crossing every day. The majority of the drug busts are at the checkpoints. A lot of the we're getting on the checkpoints uh, are from U.S. citizens, um, and that's a contrast to what we see, you know, in the remote desert where we're seeing the backpackers and the drug mules, and a lot of those are uh, non-citizens. Some checkpoints are closed due to limited staffing as most agents are split between arresting and processing undocumented immigrants. A busy 4th of July weekend for Yuma Border Patrol agents as they completed a total of 2,067 apprehensions. Agents found their largest group of 156 migrants on Monday entering west of the San Luis port of entry. Yesterday, agents stopped a human smuggling attempt after four migrants were caught getting into a vehicle along Interstate 8 west of the Imperial Sand Dunes. Agents attempted to stop the vehicle, but the driver attempted to flee. The driver faces human smuggling charges. And as for the four Mexican nationals, agents will return them to Mexico under Title 42. California lawmakers and U.S. Senator Kristen Sinema toured the San Ysidro port of entry today. Congressman Juan Vargas, Scott Peters, and Sinema were in San Diego where they visited the Jewish Family Service, a nonprofit that assists migrants released by the Department of Homeland Security. In a statement, Cinema says the tour allowed lawmakers to see firsthand the unique challenges presented and what are the needs of the federal level. On Capitol Hill, Cinema and GOP Senator John Cornyn have been pushing for legislation to lessen the burden on local border communities while at the same time ensuring humane treatment for migrants. Mexicali is seeing a rise in car crashes with law enforcement reporting as many as 30 crashes per day. Also going up, the number of fatalities. Mexicali police say some are tied to alcohol, speeding, and other distractions while driving. Over the weekend, three people died in Mexicali as a result, including two who lost their lives in a rollover and another crash that claimed the life of a one-year-old girl. They are driving in an irresponsible manner, despite the fact that two weeks ago, we begin operations at checkpoints. The number of fines has increased. We are putting strict measures to avoid accidents, but it is also the responsibility of the driver that this does not happen. Local authorities have even proposed raising alcohol prices to prevent people from drinking and driving, but so far, no other solutions are on the table. Health professionals are up in arms after the Arizona legislature banned schools from forcing students to wear masks. It's a concern for doctors, especially since children under 12 are still not able to get vaccinated. This, as the deadly Delta variant spreads, schools are now stuck in the middle, especially those that do want to enforce a mask mandate in the fall. This is not safe. This is not evidence-based policy. This is putting our children at risk. And for what? For what? Masks are safe. They don't harm anybody. They are easy to use. When um, information came from Governor Ducey, it didn't necessarily affect our plan for this summer. We had already made that determination that they would be optional. The Delta variant has been proven to be more transmissible and more deadly for people who are not vaccinated. 44% of all Arizonians are fully vaccinated. And the Delta variant is now the dominant coronavirus strain in the United States, according to the latest CDC data. The variant now accounts for 51.7% of new COVID-19 infections for the two-week period ending July 3rd. 
That is up from 30.4% from the previous two weeks. The Alpha variant, which used to be the dominant strain, now makes up 28.7% of the cases in the country. The Delta variant is described as being hyper-transmissible and that those who are unvaccinated remain at risk. As things continue to get back to normal post-pandemic in California, the Imperial Valley has had to adjust with how it informs the public about COVID-19 cases. Vinci Barra has more in El Centro. One of those big changes that happened when the state reopened on June 15th, the color tier system went away. Before June 15th, California required all counties to have a daily COVID-19 report, including cases and positivity rates. But that has changed. Now the county reports on a weekly basis and explains why when numbers are released in the Valley, they're a little high. The county public health department decided to continue publishing case rate and positivity percent for awareness purposes. Angulo says other counties in California have different ways of reporting case numbers, but all counties have access to the same data, making sure transparency is top of mind. Currently, the number of people testing positive for COVID-19 is down from last week, but almost 40% of all Imperial County isn't fully vaccinated. Angulo wants locals to do their own research and consider getting the vaccine sooner rather than later. COVID-19 vaccines are an effective tool that we have immediate access to, and this is a great tool to help uh, prevent the COVID-19 disease and helps prevent severe illness and death. Angulo urges residents in the Valley to take advantage of getting the vaccine. She says there are plenty of resources still available for residents here in the Valley. Currently, we have over 30 vaccine access points, and this includes pharmacies, community clinics, uh, primary care provider offices, hospitals, and at the public health department. The COVID vaccine is free and still available to those 12 years old and up. 78% of eligible residents have received at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine, and 61% of eligible residents are fully vaccinated. To see all of the resources that are available to you, visit our website at KYMA.com. Reporting in El Centro, I'm Vinci Barra. In Surfside, Florida, the search of that collapsed condo building is now switching from a rescue effort to a recovery operation. 54 people have been confirmed dead and 86 are still missing, including the father of a high school volleyball star who was pulled out alive. A harsh reality sets in. It is with deep, profound sadness that this afternoon I'm able to share that we made the extremely difficult decision to transition from Operation Search and Rescue to Recovery. Rescue teams and first responders marked that transition with a moment of silence. CBS News was among those given closer access to the site where the scope of the massive task at hand is clear. But it's the little things like that cushion right there that was once part of a sofa or patio furniture that remind you of the lives lost. We're also learning more about some of the first to be rescued from the rubble moments after the collapse, like 16-year-old Devin Gonzalez, who suffered fractured ribs and a broken leg. Relatives say she's taking her first steps with the help of a walker. Devin was one of the star volleyball players on coach Amy Morgan's club team. She apologized for missing practice. She apologized, she for, apologized missing practice. for missing practice. Wow. Like that same day that it happened. That's who she is. That determined, <laughs> that driven. Absolutely. I can't fathom what she went through. It's, it's, it's just unthinkable. Her mother, Angela, was also rescued, but her father, Edgar, is among the missing. Edgar's such an amazing person and I feel so bad for her because she's not going to have her dad at these, you know, amazing years that he should be there. The Gonzaleses and dozens of other families are now dealing with the fact that their loved ones are gone. At the collapse site, officials said the work, of course, will continue, but the rescue dogs and listening devices they placed in the rubble are no longer necessary. Manuel Bajorca, CBS News, Surfside, Florida.
And let's take a look at our weather right now. We're still quite warm out there. We're hovering right around 100 degrees tonight still, and we're after 10 o'clock right now. Let's take a look outside, shall we, at the RV World Yuma Sky Cam. There is downtown Yuma right there. Mostly clear skies out there as well. We do have a, a slight, a very slight breeze out there, and it'll pick up from time to time and gust anywhere between 10 and 20 miles per hour tonight. But for the most part, we're still going to be very, very warm, clear and a bit gusty. Now coming up in your first alert forecast, we're going to talk about some of these uncomfortable temperatures coming back our way. Yes, the uncomfortable heat is coming our way. We're looking anywhere between 112 to 116 degrees. Another excessive heat warning will be put into place to let you know when that is going to happen. And we have another viewer weather photo to share with you a little bit later on. Next on 13 on your side, the Colorado River that divides state lines between California and Arizona is a main water source for many people. April Henninger shares an exclusive report detailing the agreement between the U.S. and Mexico and how we can bring life back to the El Rio. AWC basketball coach moving on. Ten years here of the program, he's led the Mats to eight appearances in the Region 1 final. That's impressive in its own right. He's won the Region 1 championship four times and the cherry on top in NJCAA tournament appearance. His legacy, where he's ending up. And how the Matadors plan to continue without his leadership. If you want to be a winner, then get a turkey footlong from Subway. That's oven roasted turkey, piled high with crisp veggies on freshly baked bread. So let's get out there and get those footlongs. Now at Subway, buy one footlong in the app and get one 50% off. Subway, eat fresh. It's Yuma Ashley Home Store Outlets Stars and Stripe Sale. Celebrate the 4th of July with the lowest outlet prices on beautiful Ashley furniture. It's all in stock, so you can buy it today and take it home today. Sofas and reclining sofas, dining sets, TV stands, bedroom furniture, mattresses, tables, and home office. All at low outlet prices. But quantities are limited, and at these prices, they won't last long. It's Stars, Stripes, and Savings at the Yuma Ashley Home Store Outlet. It's time for a talk. If you're 45 or older, you need to get yourself screened for colon cancer. This disease can be very treatable when caught early, so the sooner you know what's up with your health, the better. The good news is, is that there's options for getting screened that are easier than you think. Get informed. Hey, we're all busy, and we think, when would we fit it in? Well, make the time. It just might mean more time with your family down the road. If you're a man or a woman, 45 or older, I'm talking to you. I've lost good friends, young friends, to colon cancer. Don't make the mistake of waiting until you have symptoms or think that you have no risk because it doesn't run in your family. Everybody needs to be screened. So, take control. Get screened for colon cancer, 45 or older. Learn how. StandUpToCancer.org slash colon cancer. Every picture has a story. At Doctors Without Borders, we act to change those stories. Because too many people don't have access to health care. We provided more than 11 million consultations last year. Picture the impact we can have together. Now, 13 on your side. Welcome back. I'm Scott Gross. The Colorado River, which splits California and Arizona, is a main water source for many people. But that also includes Mexico, our neighbors to the south, and the hundreds of species that depend on the water. The river used to run all the way, all the way from the Rocky Mountains to the Sea of Cortez in Mexico. But 13 on your sides, April Hedinger tells us why that water source is dwindling in this exclusive report. One of the values that our society wants to have defended at this time is nature around us and the river and all that it supports. There are 380 bird species using the Colorado River Delta and those are some of the same birds that end up 
um, in Alaska, in Minnesota, in the hunting grounds. Protecting the Colorado River Delta is a domino effect that has a lasting impact on our local environment. The river is a resource for many southwestern U.S. states, along with parts of Mexico. Coming up with a fair and sustainable agreement has been a challenge, but is becoming a trial and error process. Even though it was completely dry, some, some parts of the river are back already. And we're going to see that. And that's the important part that that's I think that's the way human beings. Uh, we learn, we mess things up, we realize we shouldn't have done that, that how do we bring it back to that? The Colorado River used to flow all the way to the Sea of Cortez, but with declining water levels, less rainfall and lack of conservation, the bodies of water no longer connect as this flows. So this pale blue, blue, blue polygon shows how was the felt plane on the 85s. So it used to flow, overflow the reporting corridor all the way Laguna Salada and hold the upper, upper and lower story. It the goal of Viva El Rio is to connect the Colorado River to the sea in Mexico to restore ecosystems and bring in more life. So the quantity of life this water sample can support. So if there's a lot of oxygen, there can be more life. Less oxygen, no life. This chart analyzes water samples and changes color by the amount of oxygen in the water. As you can see, the sample is almost clear. There is no chance for living organisms to survive. In 1994, the U.S. and Mexico signed a binational agreement, assigning water only to cities and agriculture, leaving nothing for the environment. For Mexico, living uh, with a dead river has been, um, I'll say, sort of a wound. Um, and this is a little bit of repair. That said, it was not easy to get that U.S.-Mexico agreement. It was reached in the context of Mexico agreeing to do things like share in shortages with water users in Arizona and Nevada and California. The water in this area of Laguna Grande is less than 1% of what it used to be almost 100 years ago because of a treaty that was passed between the United States and Mexico back in 1944. Some people think that in conservation, why do you want to invest in that if you're not going to see the changes, right? But you are able to see the changes. That's why Mexico is encouraging everyone to Act now before we get knee deep in a drought. Animals, trees, and humans are dependent on Colorado River water, including beavers that prevent the water from flowing too quickly. They feed on the bark of the trees, mainly cottonwoods and willows, and they use the rest of the, the wood to make their dens, which are floating dens, and then they build uh, like a little dam. Why is this important? The, the beaver is like an umbrella species, we call it. If we save the beaver, we save a bunch of other species. Once the dam prevents water from being in the meander, their den floats because the beaver's entrance is underneath. Other wildlife like skunks, squirrels, and rabbits rely on the floating dam to cross the river. Salt grass is also dependent on river water, according to hydrologists. When the, the water reach, uh, start to evaporate and uh, look like a white area, so it's uh, uh, from salt from evaporation of the seawater. All the residue left from low water levels is salt, the only beneficial aspect for salt grass when water levels are low. The plant lives in the estuary, a part that connects the river to the sea. The system of the irrigation networks channel in order to move the water from the border to this area and discharge the water here and let the water go to the sea. About 40 miles south of the border is where the river ends. Behind me right now is water that's flowing from an irrigation canal. It's actually Colorado River water that was diverted at the border and is here being returned to the river. And it's actually going to flow for uh, a little more than four months into October. Every drop of water you can save helps restore the Colorado River Delta. Reporting from Laguna Grande in Baja California, Mexico, April Hedinger, 13 on your side.
And if you like hot weather, we're going to turn up the heat for you. A dip in the lake or the pool or the river could be right up your alley. How hot are we going to get? I'll let you know straight ahead in your first alert forecast. We believe summer is about winning. It's where we can lounge inside or venture outdoors and laugh at the spots where we forgot to apply sunscreen. Memories are and moments shared. And new adventures await. And as the Arizona Lottery's summer jackpot grows, summer is just heating up. Enter today at azplayersclub.com. When it comes to internet and TV, has the competition beat? Really? Can you keep up with all this? Yes. With faster download speeds and better performance, Spectrum is the number one choice for gamers. Switch now with the fastest internet starting speeds for the price. 100 megabits. That's enough speed to game, surf, stream, and more on all your devices. Get Spectrum Internet for $44.99 a month. Call 833-742-4499. Okay, but what about TV? It's not easy to find something that works for everyone. Spectrum TV with the free Spectrum TV app lets you watch live sports, local news, and more on your TV and on your devices. And unlike satellite, there's no ugly dish on your roof. Get Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 833-742-4499. Too bad I'm in a contract. Stuck in a contract? Spectrum will buy it out up to $500. Seriously? And you won't have to sign a new one. Don't wait. Switch today. Awesome. Nice. Yes! Get Spectrum Internet and TV from $44.99 a month each. Call 833-742-4499. Houston's Yuma Furniture's 4th of July sale is held over. Our prices get this low only once a year. So if you're looking for a sale to light your fire, Houston's is your match. Our savings sizzle on Lazy Boy sofas, sectionals, and Lazy Boy reclining furniture, dining sets, bedrooms, and over 40 mattresses in stock. So you can buy it today and take it home today. Plus five years interest-free. Hurry. It's held over through Monday only at Houston's Yuma Furniture on Avenue B. Serving your family since 1927. Extreme heat is brutal on people, pets, and cars. The Registrar of Contractors in Arizona recommends that you replace that sealant every two years. But what about your home? Wood, metal, and pipes all expanding and contracting in the desert southwest throughout the year. What do you need to have inspected each year? What fails faster than expected? And how to determine when it's time to replace everything from your roof to your door seals? Keep your... Heat and... Hey, everybody, and thank you so much for hanging in there with me tonight. Happy Hump Day. Yeah, today is Wednesday. We're almost through the middle work week, but we're going to really warm up as we get into the weekend. Right now, we're still sitting at 96 degrees in Yuma. We're at 95 degrees in El Centro, both under mostly clear skies. Let's take a look outside, shall we? The RV World Yuma Sky Cam. There's a view of downtown Yuma right there. That is 4th Avenue. Very busy out there. Slight breeze. You can see the trees off in the distance moving a little bit back and forth. But as I mentioned again, mostly clear out there. It's a stargazer's delight. So if you want to look at the, the moon, the stars, whatever you want out there tonight, it's a great night to do that. Let's take a look at our satellite and our radar, show you what we have going on in our region. Uh, not much. As you can see, there is not much going on. We are going to be clear. There is some cloud cover coming to us from the, the south of us that we saw, but we'll keep our eye on that one. Uh, but for the most part, we will remain to be clear tonight. We do have some clouds moving in, and they will uh, appear at some point tomorrow. I uh, want to show you right now, we're, we're talking about uh, Tropical Storm Elsa, and here she is right over uh, the portion of uh, Florida. She's rising up upon uh, Georgia right now. It's actually going to make it all the way up the East Coast, and it's actually going to get even more um, stronger as it gets to our nation's capital. That's very interesting looking at that storm. Here's our future wind slide right now as we get into tomorrow morning. It'll start to die down and then gusty winds again about this time tomorrow afternoon. will be somewhere around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's our air quality index brought to us by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. A couple changes out there, but for the most part, uh, it's 50-50 out there throughout the valley. Uh, three cities checking in with moderate and three in the green and the good. Jumping ahead and taking a look at uh, the current temps that we had today. Here are the highs that we had today. Salton City was at 113. El Centro was at 112. Yuma 110. Uh, Welton and Tacna both checked in at 108. Now your current temperatures, first of all, across the Imperial Valley, still quite warm out there. Ocotillo's at 100 degrees. Palo Verde at 99. El Centro 95. Imperial still quite warm 
at 99 degrees. On the Arizona side of things, across Yuma County in the Gila Valley, 96 currently in Yuma. The foothills, you're at 98. Welton's at 100. San Luis, 97, along with Somerton. I want to share with you right now what's coming up on Friday. Uh, we're going to start this excessive heat warning. It'll start for portions of Yuma County. It will stay into effect until 8 o'clock on Saturday night. Also, on the California side of things, in Imperial County, you're also going to be in this, but this will be lasting until 8 o'clock on Sunday. Now, we can have temperatures anywhere between 110 and 118 degrees coming up in the next couple of days, so please be advised and uh, take the proper precautions. Check out this wonderful photo. This was sent in by Martin from Araby Road, pointing out towards the east to Telegraph Pass. Nice job, Martin. Thank you so much for that wonderful photo. And if you have a photo, we certainly want to see it. You can uh, find me on social media or drop it off on our homepage, kyma.com slash share. Or even better yet, since you have your phone on you right now, just zap this QR code. It'll take you right to the weather photo gallery. That's where you can upload your photo, you can share it, and you can also name it, and I can grab it and share it with the rest of us out there as well. Let's take a look at what we have going on on our Metrocast. Again, it'll be quite warm tonight, 92 degrees around midnight. It'll be clear. Tomorrow morning, those clouds will start to move in. We'll be have a mostly sunny day tomorrow, 88 at 6 a.m. And tomorrow at high noon, still some cloud cover, and it'll be 103. Here's your seven-day forecast. Again, it's uncomfortable. 109 tomorrow, breezy, and then very hot on Friday, sweltering on Saturday at a 115. Stay indoors this weekend if you can. Very hot on Sunday and Monday. Same can be said, however, for the Imperial Valley. Very dry, 111 tomorrow, but it could feel as warm as 118. We'll also be up to 115 on Friday, 118 on Saturday, and again, another sweltering day on Sunday. Try to stay warm, try to stay cool, but for the most part, we're going to be very sunny and very dry. People talk to me all the time, well, what did you want to do? I said, this is my destination job. And this is a destination location for baseball. The Arizona Wildcats officially introduced Chip Hale as the new head baseball coach. Hear more on why he chose to come back to the Wildcats program straight ahead in sports. Celebrate the freedom of a great night's sleep and save big during the extended July 4th sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, everything is on sale, like the Doctor's Choice Firm, just $617.49. Or check out the budget-friendly Summit Firm, easy on the wallet for just $284.99. Or try the Eurotop for just $332.49. Score a Doctor's Choice Pillow for just $39.99, plus five years no interest and free shipping right to your doorstep. But hurry, the extended July 4th sale at Denver Mattress ends Thursday. Isaiah was 15. He was in the middle of his sophomore year in high school. He just had this light about him. I get notification from a family member that there's a picture of Isaiah passed out. They're saying that he took a pill. You know, he went to go lay down and he just wouldn't get back up. We're pretty sure that your son ingested fentanyl and they're telling me he's not gonna make it. And I just told him like, you know, I love you. I love you no matter what. And you didn't deserve this. <laughs> Learn more at talknowaz.com. Do you worry about going to the dentist? After all, a visit to the dentist can easily cost $2,000 or more. Well, relax. The Carefree Dental Card is now available in your area. Call now and we'll send your actual card at no cost today. With the Carefree Dental Card, you go to the dentist whenever you need and you instantly pay a lot less. Activate your card and you can start using it immediately. From exams and cleanings to more expensive procedures like crowns, dentures, even braces, they're all included with the Carefree Dental Card. Say you go to the dentist today without any card and your bill is, well, ouch. Wait a minute, let's try that again. You go to the dentist today and show your Carefree Dental Card, you save $525. The Carefree Dental Card is just $15.95 a month and everyone in your household can use the same card. Call 1-800-997-4110 to receive your free Carefree Dental Card information kit. Call 1-800-997-4110 now. We're at our best when we stand together. That's when we make the impossible possible. That's what Stand Up to Cancer has done. Because you stood up. Because of you, survivors are out there. We're making the impossible possible. We're committed to making every cancer patient a survivor. This is the moment we double our efforts. Together, we stand up to cancer. Tune in August 21st at 8, 7 central.
The University of Arizona officially named former Wildcat great Chip Hale as the new head baseball coach today. Hale played for the Wildcats from 1984 to 1987 and then enjoyed a long career in Major League Baseball as a player and coach. Hale was the head coach of the Diamondbacks from 2015 to 2016. At today's press conference, Hale expressed his excitement to being back in Tucson. People always ask me, what's your dream job? And uh, I got to do it. I got to be a major league manager. But I used to tell them all the time, and even my, even my coaches uh, back in Detroit, my dream job was always a coach at the University of Arizona. And I've, I've, I've dreamt about this uh, for years and years and years. As my wife knows, we live here in Tucson. Um, you know, this is our community. I've lived over 30 years now. I grew up in California, but this is my home. To high school preps now, one of the standout defenders on this spring Central Spartans football team is officially taking his talents to the next level. Senior defenseman Joseph Hargrave has signed his official letter of intent with Lakeland University of Wisconsin. Hargrave was part of the Spartans' defensive line that wreaked havoc on opposing offenses during the spring's condensed football season. He was a key contributor to Central winning their third consecutive Imperial Valley League title and fourth consecutive Bell Game victory over arch rival Brawley. And to Phoenix Suns Arena last night, a Buck star Giannis Antetokounmpo testing his knee before the start of game one, and he would be good to go. Second half, and in the third quarter, with the shot clock winding down, Chris Paul pulls up, hits the three, and after a review, the Bucks' Brooks Lopez is going to be called for a flagrant one fall for stepping into Paul's landing area. Paul slightly rolled his ankle, but he'd be okay. Paul would make the free throw, putting the Suns up by 11. Fast forward to the fourth quarter, Suns up by seven. Chris Paul drives down the lane, finds Devin Booker on the wing, and Booker knocks down the three. Suns up by 10, 104-94. Later in the fourth, Suns up 11. Again, it's Paul as he drives by Antetokounmpo, lays it in, draws the foul. Phoenix goes on to win game one at home, 118-105. Chris Paul led the way with 32 points. After the game, the Suns fans celebrated the win. It was, it was loud in there, man. It was hard to hear each other. It was great. This AZ Go, crowd. This AZ crowd. This AZ crowd. This AZ crowd. The city of AZ is loving. Yes, the celebration was on in front of Phoenix Suns Arena. For about two hours, they hung around after the win. Game two of the NBA Finals is tomorrow in Phoenix. To the NHL playoffs, Tampa Bay looking to repeat as champions. The Montreal Canadiens looking to stave off elimination. Let's go midway through the second period in Tampa Bay. Montreal zone, there's a scrum against the wall. Tampa with the pass to the top of the slot makes its way to Ross Colton, giving the Lightning the one nothing lead. And Tampa Bay, they would beat Montreal tonight by a score of one to nothing to win the Stanley Cup final. That makes the Lightning the NHL champs two years in a row. This title is the third Stanley Cup for the franchise. And in Major League Baseball, the Arizona Diamondbacks won for the second straight night. They beat Colorado 6-4, and the Dodgers lose tonight to the Miami. The Padres also lose to Washington. That's all we have for sports. We'll be right back. The pros of one-hour air conditioning and heating remind you that an AC tune-up now can help to prevent breakdowns in the future. They're psychic. We're not, but we do know firsthand that a spring tune-up can help your system run better and last longer. You could see lower energy bills. See? Psychic. Oh, let's pick lottery numbers. I predict you won't win, Jim. All right. All right. Schedule your AC tune-up today. Your comfort is just a call away. Houston's Yuma Furniture's 4th of July sale is held over. Our prices get this low only once a year. So if you're looking for a sale to light your fire, Houston's is your match. Our savings sizzle on Lazy Boy sofas, sectionals, and Lazy Boy reclining furniture. Dining sets, bedrooms, and over 40 mattresses in stock. So you can buy it today and take it home today. Plus five years interest-free. Hurry, it's held over through Monday only at Houston's Yuma Furniture on Avenue B. Serving your family since 1927. Reducing energy use during the summer is more important than ever. This summer, IID encourages you to do your part by setting your thermostat to 78 degrees or higher, avoiding the use of large appliances between 4 and 9 p.m., and turning off all unnecessary lighting. But there's more. IID provides a number of summer energy-saving opportunities to help you make the most of your energy savings efforts. Check out our tips and energy-saving guides at IID.com. Let's work together to stay cool and save energy this summer. 
Waves of winning are here with a hurricane of prizes from Cocopa Casino in July. 100 winners will take home up to $200 per person. The tide is high every Friday and Saturday in July from 5 to 9 p.m. 10 winners each drawing day will receive a minimum of $100 in rewards play with bonus rewards based on card level. Earn entries daily by playing your favorite slots and table games with your rewards card. If you're not a member, just drop by the Cocopa Rewards Club and get your card. Membership is free. Winning is just around the corner at Cocopa Casino and Resort, South Highway 95 in Summerton. Before we go tonight, a quick look at your forecast coming up. It's going to be hot. It's going to be sweltering. Stay indoors. The same can be said for the Imperial Valley. Look at the temperatures, 115 to 118. Just start planning ahead. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Scott Gross. Stephen Colbert is next.